After several hours of interrogation, detectives told Skylar Richardson she wasn't going home, and they offered her an opportunity to explain to her parents why. I tried to cremate the baby just a little. You tried to cremate the baby? Yeah, that's I did it. But Richardson tells her parents, I didn't kill her. Throughout the interrogation, Richardson seemed unsure if her baby was ever alive. So you delivered a live baby, is that what you're saying? I, yeah, but I wasn't really sure. I didn't think she was going to The now 20-year-old told investigators she delivered the baby while on the toilet, and the newborn, who she named Annabelle, fell in the water and stayed there for about two minutes. Did you hear her cry? Maybe Richardson said during the interrogation she may have seen Annabelle's arms move and may have squeezed her too tightly. She also changed her story regarding whether she burned Annabelle's remains. At first, I didn't burn her. Are you sure? I didn't burn anything. Are you sure? That, that, that after detectives pushed the issue, Richardson admitted she tried to burn Annabelle after she put her in the ground in her backyard, then changed her mind and used dirt to help put the fire out. Defense attorney Charlie Ritgers says the confession was more of a coercion. The defense says the baby was stillborn. Ultimately, she was broken down, and she said uh, she tried to cremate Annabelle just a little bit, right? Uh, can you define broken down? But the defense attorney, Charlie Rickers there, he did get Lieutenant John Fain to admit that no doctor will testify that there is evidence the remains were burned. Reporting live tonight in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, the jury also heard from Brandon Saylor, uh, Richardson's boyfriend at the time. She delivered the baby. What did he testify to? Well, you know what? He did take the stand this afternoon, and he said he did not know that Skylar Richardson was pregnant. If you remember, he went to the prom with her just a day before. He says, looking back in hindsight and looking at those photos from prom, that she did appear to be pregnant, but he said he had no clue. Karen Johnson, live for us in Lebanon tonight. Thank you.